Hello, everyone. This is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of Our Pharaoh: A New Era Demo Showcase. Last time we played Thenus, and now we're moving up here to Parawajit.、Uh, don't know how exactly to pronounce that, but we'll hear it in the narration. And we're moving on to our third mission here. I believe there are four in the demo session, and we'll come back tomorrow and finish the last one. Now, the objective here is 600 population. And ten modest homesteads, so a higher tier of housing here, and we'll definitely be introduced to some new mechanics to raise our housing from the modest cottages to these、uh, modest homesteads. The Thinite nobles still struggle to unite the lands of the Nile under one supreme ruler. To aid them in their cause, it is hoped that you will endeavor to establish a thriving community at Perwajit in the humid delta region of Lower Egypt, thus spreading their influence throughout the length of the sacred river. To support a population larger than that of a village, you must learn to use agriculture. Egyptian farmers have begun to exploit the rich, fertile soil deposited by the annual inundation of the Nile River for growing crops. The Nile can be hazardous, however. Many dangers lurk along its banks and in its waters, such as deadly crocodiles, hippopotamuses, and malaria-carrying mosquitoes. Alrighty, and our defeat conditions the same: minus five thousand in debt here. To feed your people in Parawajit, you must build farms directly on the floodplain in order to gain the benefits of its increased fertility. Unlike most working structures, farms on the floodplain do not need direct access to employees, but do need a steady workforce of peasant laborers supplied by work camps to tend their fields. Build work camps fairly close to floodplain farms, so peasants don't have to walk too far to reach them. Each year, the Nile floods its bank, replenishing the depleted soil on the floodplain with rich, fertile mud. Peasants harvest the annual crop just before the inundation and deliver it to your granary. Because there is only one harvest per year, make sure your city has enough granaries to store a sufficient amount of food for your growing population. Okay. So first things first, we take a look at the map. Plenty of fertile soil around. These deltas on both sides, and you can see these are marshes, which means there are going to be mosquitoes, and we're going to have to build apothecaries.、Um, we're going to take a look at all the buildings first, and we'll plan things out before we start building. Okay, so this is all forest down here, more mud on this side. There are those hippos, but they're far away. We should be pretty safe. We don't have to go across. This part we can just ignore. And this is our kingdom road, and we need ten good housing, and also a area of housing where we are going to have workers and basically poor housing. So let me just take a peek at what we're going to have to eventually build in this one. Right. So instead of just physicians, apothecaries are also needed here for the mosquitoes. Same three basic structure. Same palace. That's all the same as last time. Work camps. So these will basically provide the worker for farmland. Fig farms. It's a three by three. There is not going to be any sort of、uh, farming.、Uh, not farming. Hunting here. It's all going to be done by farming. That's fine. We have granary, storage yard to store goods, overflows.、Uh, granary is only for food. And bazaar to distribute everything. Production. Ah,、uh, eventually we're going to do clay pits next to these areas, and we're going to make potter. Pottery.、Um, we got shrine to Osiris. Still the juggler. Ah, we get gardens this time. And statues. Okay, so beautification is needed for our housing to upgrade. So we're going to do a little bit of a different design. It's probably going to be thicker. I'm still going to do one central area where we have all our ten housing that we need to upgrade. We're probably just going to make it a little bit thicker, and then we're going to lead it to some sort of workforce area.、Um, you know, probably touching this area here. So let's 
Let's first do some calculation here. Well, you want this main road to continue, right, towards the working area. Let's put that down first. But we're probably going to need to save a sizable chunk here. One, two, three, four, five. So let's say if I want houses to be here and then here, here, here. I'm going to build a road. So there's going to be another housing here. And then we're going to do one, two, three. Temple up here. And then two for housing, two for housing for something else. One extra road here. And then just curl it right down. I know it looks kind of weird with the kingdom road being like this, but this is the exact area that I want for my housing district. So I'm not going to compromise on that. Uh, the extra here, we don't have to worry about. I'll roadblock this, roadblock this. And actually roadblock that as well. We're going to need a water supply. Um, we're saving the corner spaces for them. So it doesn't actually matter where I put them. We have not learned about apocalypse carries. So we can't build that, but we have learned about physician's office. Um, we probably don't need to build them first, though. Okay, we're going to get them to start settling here. And we'll unpause real quick. Get sellers out on the road. And then... We need to farm as quickly as possible, actually. Just realize that it is timed. So I'm going to... Pop two down here. I think two is enough for now. And then we're going to have a separate neighborhood over here. That is more... Let's see how many we need. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so... We can either cut it off right here. I'm going to connect them here. They're going to get their own water as well. It's more efficient to keep things in the loop. these will all be housing and then we'll keep some of the storage in between we can beautify this later and in terms of necessities safety first rotate that And I think we'll also provide basic safety for them. We're going to need a road out here later. But not here. I think that's a dead end. Uh, no, I don't want it there. I want another one here, another one here, another one here. That's our 10 houses. We're going to need worker camps. Hmm. I think these are not going to be the prettiest building. So I'm going to build them. I assume... One per one would be good. Ten employees. How many need to work the field? I don't understand. But uh, let's do one by one for now. And see how that works.
All right, we'll get the basic positions in here, and I'm guessing Apothecary goes there later. We don't need this yet, but this will beautify our city. So if we need some sort of buffer against him, this will be it. I'm going to build it first. And I'm going to extend this road a little bit. Have we been taught to do the storage yard? Not yet. I guess when the pottery comes, we'll get that done. Right now, we don't need it. Do they actually need road to it? Oh, I did not know that. My bad. I thought they said we didn't need road. Huh. That's a little bit weird. We might have to wait till next season until this yields us anything. Malaria is most prevalent close to water and marshland. The malaria overlay shows which houses are more likely to succumb to its illness. Access to clean water from water supply and insect repellent provided by local apothecary both greatly reduce the risk of malaria for any given household. Like most buildings, the apothecary only functions when it has road access and labor. Oh, it's a small building. That is good news for this area. But uh, over here... It becomes a bit weird because I was saving extra space, but that's fine. What we can do is put it here, and this can be a juggler corner. And for that little empty space, shrines actually can function without road. So we can build a little beautiful shrine here. And we can pair it up, actually, if we want. And that's going to be fine. Now... We probably need a festival square as well. I don't think it needs to be connected to the main area. I just need it to have festivals, to be honest. And we can probably just have an intersection. Do we need to have longer roads than that? Okay, and then we'll host a festival. Build houses involved to ordinary co They're missing food. We don't have food until... We, we didn't get food out. It's flooded right now. It'll come back and then we'll farm some next year. So we're stuck at this tier for now. Get entertainers out here right away. Hmm. I think we'll build it on this side. Disease strikes. Uh, over here. I mean, we have the necessary buildings. We could get them a hospital as well. Technically no space, but we can probably... I can probably move this up a little. <laughs> Did 
There we go. to oh, that's not gonna work is it I want them to fit over here but now I think I'm just ruining my chances here no I want this building I want to save that space right here so I could give them a bazaar and they can also have food don't know why we're so nice to them but uh, I just felt like this would work actually You guys do not get entertainment though, so stop dreaming about that. Okay, we're getting ourselves some figs. I don't know how much we can actually produce from this field, so I don't know if I need another granary or not. And do we have enough employees from just these houses here? I mean, if they upgrade, then we would have enough space. So I think we can speed it up a little just to see if we can get the harvests for this year. Has full crew, has full crew. I mean, perhaps we can support more fields, but then the problem becomes like, do we have enough slots here? If each of these little branches becomes one slot, of course the bazaars will help us take some off our hand. There we go. Uh, it's only four. Okay. We need more fields. And we need roads to them, or... As long as there's road to them. We'll see if they have access. Do they have access? They're not. Okay, so this is actually a little bit tricky. Now that you've given your people basic food and water, you can enhance their lifestyle with other goods, such as pottery. Build a clay pit close to water and a potter nearby. Make sure they have access to labor as usual. And before long, a cart will deliver clay to the potter. We'll create pottery for your city. Build a storage yard to store the final products as well. As any excess clay the potter does not need, one clay pit can usually supply enough clay for two potter. Workers from the bazaar will collect pottery from the storage yard and distribute it just as they would food. Okay, yeah. Um, this road requirement does make the planning here a little bit different than what we anticipated. So we could say get rid of one and just lead a road to all of them. Right now I can't build anything because it's flooded. But after the flooding ends, perhaps. We can build road. Let's get the pottery work started. I think this is close enough to the water. Yeah, it'll tell me it's not close. One of them is good for two urns, I think that's what they were saying. How do I fit these so that it makes more sense? I'm putting him here. We're gonna loop the road around, actually. And I'm gonna do... Like this. I'm gonna wait till the field comes back. It's starting to come back. Alright, 
they got upgraded quickly because they actually have religious buildings. I just need these to be decently upgraded so there's enough population to work all these jobs. Now what are you missing? Food. It's not enough food. I could extend the road even more. So we don't want to full commit here. All right, we want to lift this road up. Yeah, let's do four. Seems like each labor camp can take care of two fields, no problem. Alright, great. Efficiency is super low here because all the road network. That's fine. We're gonna wait for the entertainment buildings to kick in. Basically, we'll have a bigger harvest this year. Yeah, we're accepting clay and potter. Oh, they want us to store some pottery. Well, the bricks are going. There we go. I think they're making them. Right, this one is. I don't know why this one's having trouble. Great job. You got some, we got some pottery in there. Got some industry up and running. And now you can think about making a few improvements to your city. Beautification can be used to make some neighborhood more desirable by making the areas surrounding them more attractive. Gardens, statues, plazas can help houses to evolve. Several garden plots can be placed next to each other to form larger parks, place plazas on paved road to enhance their appearance and improve the desirability of nearby land. You can rotate statues. Yes, I know that. And uh, let's do that. So we have a lot of options. Uh, I save all this inside space. Let's see, how big is the... Oh, there's different options. Um, are they different size? These are all three by three. Okay. And these are all two by two. And small is one by one. Yeah, that all makes sense. Gardens. I was hoping to do some gardens here. I think we'll do a garden here. Do a garden here. Hoping to do a garden here. Oh, but then three by three is not very symmetrical there. So... Well, that's awkward. This space... Um, how do we make it less awkward? I can do... I mean... I can do three small statues. cash out here. Yeah, clearly one of this is the rich neighborhood. Oh, look at the well. Upgraded once is beautiful as well. Changes looks. And then there's people who haven't ate any figs in the entire year, so... We just need food. Food food is a major factor right now. Hardly any entertainment. We gotta fix that. Okay. We're gonna have to pop the road out. Oh, well, actually, I want it to be here.
That should solve the problem. Wait, why didn't you work here? It's all about food this year. That's what we're really waiting for. You can see the difference between this water supply and this water supply. It'd be nice if Osiris actually comes and bless us. Oh, there we go. Modest homestead. That's what we need. We need all 10 over here to be this, and we need 600 population, which we already have. So, we're fine. I employment at 40%. That's fine. We have plenty of jobs. Now it's going to go higher because some of these buildings has not upgraded yet. This is just really sad. The bazaar has not had enough food to go all around. I mean, this season, I believe we will have it. Each plot gives two slots. We doubled our food production. So we have one, two, three, four lucky household who bought food last year. And then these who's been just starving. I might make them not buy any, just so that we can guarantee enough on the outside. Because we want them to focus on buying it. Alright, come on, moment of truth. We're almost at September. Start harvesting. Look at them go. In case we need overflow. We do. Okay. Nice. Okay, you can buy. You can you can you can sell. Look at that harvest. That's something. Look at these little kids. They're bringing food back. And let's sell it all. The upgrade. The rapid upgrade. It's like, oh, our neighborhood's so good. It's so good. What am I missing? Pottery? Uh we filled up the store here, which might cause a little issue. Eventually, it'll get here. You. You stop selling pottery. That's right. Your people don't need pottery. That's not what they need. Can you move all your pottery over to us? It'd be nice if they can just shift all the pottery over. There we go, there we go. And this poor house, so far away from the bazaar. Getting no food. Well, eventually someone's gonna be able to deliver him food, right? With so much fig over here. Population boom as they upgrade. Oh, come on. You cannot be the holdout here. I can build a new bazaar over here. If that's what's needed, we'll do it. But I feel like... There we go. Once he gets food, it should be a rapid level up. Oh, maybe he's still need to buy pottery? Yeah. We're selling it. You just need this lady right here, actually. There we go. Victory. Uh, we spent quite a bit of money, but uh, that went pretty smoothly. Six months. Um, wait, definitely took us more than six months. Because we harvested three years of crops, so I don't know what's going on there. But uh, that was pretty nice. Uh, we're going to keep things short. We'll come back and play the final mission in the demo tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoy these, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!